it's Genevieve from the Big Piney Library, and this is story time. Yay! I'm so glad you're here with me for another week of story time. So let's get started. Hmm. What do we start our story time with? Do you remember? I don't know. Our hello song. You're right. Do you remember our new hello song? Okay. So what do we need for a new hello song? We need to clap, right? Can you clap? Good job. So we're going to clap on the beat. Good job. All right. What else do we need for a hello song? We need to say hello. Good job. But we're not only going to say hello in English. Hello. We're going to say hello in Spanish. Do you remember how to say hello in Spanish? Hola. Good job. So we're going to sing this one time through saying hello in English. Hello. And one time through saying hello in Spanish. Hola. Good job. All right. You ready? Let's get our clapping hands up. Yeah, let's go. Clap everyone and say hello. Clap everyone and say hello. Clap everyone and say hello. What time is it? It's story time. Yay! <laughs> All right, so the second time we're going to say hola. Good job. Okay, you ready? Clap everyone and say hola. Clap everyone and say hola. Clap everyone and say hola. What time is it? It's story time. Yay! <laughs> Good job. You guys did great. Um, all right. So today's story time is all about getting messy. Yes. Yay. Would, do you like getting messy? Or would you rather stay clean? I don't know. I try to stay clean, but I always get messy by the end of the day. Whether it's getting paint or marker on me. Sometimes I drop food on my shirt. Sometimes I even get bubblegum stuck to me. Have you ever gotten bubblegum stuck to you? Have you got it stuck in your hair? Oh, it's the worst. Well, actually, let's get our scarves out, shall we? And we're going to pretend that our scarves are our sticky bubblegum. You ready? You got your scarf out? Yeah, let me see that scarf. Good job. All right, so we're going to sing Icky Sticky Sticky Bubblegum. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your scarf between your hands and you're going to stretch it like it's a piece of sticky, stretchy bubblegum. You ready? You got your scarf all stretchy? Good job. All right, and then it's going to get stuck to us somewhere, and we're going to unstick it, okay? You ready? Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum sticking to my nose. Oh, no, it's stuck to my nose. Is it stuck to your nose, too? All right, let's get it unstuck, shall we? We're going to count to three, okay? One, two, three. Oh, I'm stuck. Did you get it unstuck? Good job. All right. Oh no, it's still pretty sticky. You ready to stretch your sticky bubble gum? There you go. Icky, sticky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky bubble gum sticking to my belly button. Oh no, it's stuck to my belly button. All right, we're gonna get it again stuck, okay? We're gonna count to three. One, two, three. Did it come unstuck for you? Good. That's good. All right. Oh, no, I'm still pretty sticky. Ready to stretch it out? Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum sticking to my ear. Oh, no, it's on my ear. All right. Let's get unstuck, shall we? One, two, three. Unstuck. Yay. Awesome. We got enough stick for one more though. Where do you think it's gonna get stuck this time? Hmm. All right. All stretchy. Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, sticky, bubble gum sticking to my elbow. Oh no, it's on my elbow. All right. We get it unstuck one last time. We're gonna count to three, okay? One, two, three. Unstuck. Yay! Good job. Yay! <laughs> All right, well, I think our bubble gum is pretty much out of stick. What do you think? All right, so I think it's time to put up our scarves. Bye, scarf. Okay, well, I'm glad that we got that gum stuck on, unstuck from us. I thought it'd be stuck there forever. Sometimes when you get really, really messy, it feels like you'll never get clean again, right? Yeah. So for our first book, we've got a boy who gets so covered in paint that I don't think he'll ever get clean. Let's see, okay? Let's go find out. 
I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont, with pictures by David Catro, read with permission from Harcott. Oh my gosh, look at all that paint. <gasps> and look at this room, it is covered. Oh my gosh, I think he might be in a little bit of trouble. Hmm. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtain and the door and I heard my mama holler like I never did before. <gasps> You ain't gonna pay no more. Oh no. I think he's in a little bit of trouble. Look at all that paint though. What's mom doing? I think she's putting all the paint up at the very top of the closet. I ain't gonna pay no more, no more. I ain't gonna pay no more. Uh oh. Looks like he's taking him back down though. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna pay no more. All downhill from here. So I take some red and I paint my, what do you think he's gonna paint first? <gasps> head, oh my gosh! Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Ah, uh, what the heck, gonna paint my, what's next? Oh, <gasps> neck! Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Look at what color is green and yellow. Look at all these triangles. Looks kind of fun. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my, chest. Whoa, with a big swirl. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Whoa, with all these ants. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Ah, look at all that face. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, I'm gonna paint my. Whoa, look at that leg. It looks like an Easter egg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still I ain't complete till I paint my. What do you think's left? Whoa, feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. <laughs> He's pretty covered. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, I'm gonna paint my, <gasps> what? <laughs> I think mom caught him just in time. <gasps> oh, y'all don't faint cause there ain't no paint, so I ain't gonna paint no more. In trouble again. But, good thing he's getting clean. Cause that was a lot of paint. The end. Whoa, that was so much paint. He got clean, but I don't know if that bathroom ever will. It was covered. I feel like we need to do a little bit of washing up after that book. I feel like everything got paint on it, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like we're in the bathtub. You in the bathtub? You got your bubbles all around you. You got your squeaky duck. You got your soap. All right, so we're gonna sing a song. This is the way we wash our hands and we're gonna clean up in the tub. You ready? All right, got your soap. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands when we're in the tub. Nice. Ooh, our hands are clean. But what about our feet? Feet are pretty dirty. All right, relax in your tub. Get your feet up. You got your soap? This is the way we wash our feet, wash our feet, wash our feet. This is the way we wash our feet when we're in the tub. Yay, clean feet, clean hands. What else needs to be washed? Maybe your tummy. All right, get your soap all lathered. Get ready to clean your tummy. This is the way we wash our tummy, wash our tummy, wash our tummy. This is the way we wash our tummy when we're in the tub. Yay, all oh, nice, nice and clean. Let's see, what else? We can't forget her hair, can we? We need to wash our hair. All right, so we got some shampoo. Okay, y'all ready? This is the way we wash our hair, wash our hair, wash our hair. This is the way we wash our hair when we're in the tub. Good job. Oh my gosh, I think we got almost everything. Make sure you get your armpits. There you go. Now we've got everything. All right, so we're nice and clean. I think it's time to get messy again. Yay! Um, so this time we are going to get messy with a pig named Edward. Now, you would think because Edward is a pig, he likes to be dirty all the time but this pig likes to be neat and tidy. So let's see how he does with getting messy. Oh no, let's go. Edward Gets Messy by Rita Mead. 
with pictures by Olga Stern. Thanks, Olga. These are cute. Read with permission from Simon and Schuster. This is Edward. Edward is a very particular pig. Yeah, he's a little pig. He's also a very cute pig. He detests dirt, which means he really hates it. He fears filth. He likes things to be just so. Look at him. He is dusting and scrubbing and vacuuming. Edward never gets messy. He's jumping over that puddle, huh? Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. He tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. Is your room that clean? I don't know. I bet you it isn't. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard work to stay that way. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. Aww. He never eats food that spills or splatters. No hamburgers. No spaghetti and meatballs. And he never, ever, ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. They are just too messy. It sure isn't easy being a particular pig. That looks like a lot of fun, huh? On the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. Crunch! But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the sidewalk. In Edward's science class, the baking soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow. Boom! But where's Edward? There he is. He's under the table, hiding. But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the room. At lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. Slurp. But Edward doesn't get messy. He eats a plate of steamed broccoli. Oh, I don't know, spaghetti and meatballs is pretty fun. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a ball game of baseball. Squish! But Edward doesn't get messy. He stays in the stands. What else does he have? He has an umbrella to help keep him from the mud. <gasps> Edward has stayed clean for most of the day. Now there's just one class left. The art teacher gives out paper and paint. Bloop. Look at all that fun stuff. Once again, Edward doesn't get messy. He straightens up the supply shelf, but something goes wrong. Oh no, can you see what's gonna happen to Edward? Look at this paint, it's all toppled over. Bloop. Oh dear, oh no, all of the shelves break. Splat, oh dear. To his surprise and his horror, and through no fault of his own, Edward gets messy. <gasps> He's covered in paint. Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated, which means he's so embarrassed and sad. Edward doesn't know what to do. But, but wait, look at all this paint. Hmm, what is Edward doing with all that paint? I think he's making some art. Look at that, that looks beautiful. The next day, oops. The next day at school, Edward helps the sign teacher with her experiment. He doesn't mind getting messy right now because he wants to participate. On the muddy baseball field, Edward gets a hit and slides into second base. Slam, right into second base. Good job, Edward. And on the way home from school, he jumps in a big pile of leaves. <gasps> that looks fun. I want to do that. Edward is no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs on the street. Oh, good. Or eat food that spills or splatters. Yay, spaghetti and meatballs. And he happily uses markers and glue sticks and especially paint. Because now Edward knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. Yeah, he's got a little paint on him, but... After all, they can always clean up afterwards. Yeah, get that good bubble bath to get yourself clean. The end. I'm really glad that Edward joined in and wasn't afraid to get a little bit messy because like Edward says, you can always get clean. All right, I've got one more song for you guys and it is about some more pigs getting messy. Oh, look at all of our pigs. I'm gonna 
many pigs do we have here? Do you want to count them with me? One, two, three, four, five. We've got five pigs. All right, so this song is called Five Clean and Dirty Pigs. Hmm, they're clean right now. I wonder what's gonna happen. All right, you ready? Five pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Oh no! Then there were just four clean squeaky pigs. Oh my gosh, one of them got all dirty. So how many clean pigs do we have now? Let's count. One, two, three, four. We've got four clean pigs left. All right, I guess we have to sing it again. Four pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you have ever seen. Wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Oh no! Then there were just three squeak, clean squeaky pigs. Oh my gosh, it's a tongue twister. So how many clean pigs do we have? One, two, Three, only three left. All right, I guess we gotta sing it again. Three pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you have ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink, one jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Oh! Now there are just two squeak, clean squeaky pigs. Oh my gosh, we've got more dirty pigs than we've got clean pigs, huh? How many clean pigs do we have left? Just one, two. Oh my gosh, there's so few of them. All right, let's see what happens. Two pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest you have ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Oh! Now, then there were just one clean squeaky pig. Oh my gosh, just one left. All right, I think this is gonna be our last time saying it because there's no more clean pigs besides this one. You ready? One pig so squeaky clean, cleanest you have ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. He jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Ah! Then there were no clean and squeaky pigs. Oh my gosh, they're all dirty. That's okay. <laughs> we like dirty pigs, don't we? <laughs> all right. Oh, no one can stay clean today, can they? What about you? Do you think you'll stay clean today? I don't know, it's just one of those days it seems like. And sometimes you can't even help it, no matter how hard you try. Sometimes things are just, are just out of your control and you get messy. And that's what happens in our last book. A group of sheep just wanna go on a nice, pleasant drive in their Jeep and then disaster strikes. <gasps> oh no! Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay. Sheep in a Jeep by Nancy Shaw, pictures by Margot Apple, read with permission from Houghton Mifflin. <gasps> beep beep, who's in that Jeep? I think it's a sheep. Sheep in a Jeep on a hill that is steep. <gasps> Uh-oh, the Jeep won't go. What do you think's gone wrong with the Jeep? Sheep leap to push the Jeep. So they're gonna push it to get it going. Sheep shove, sheep grunt. Sheep don't think to look out front. Oh no, watch out sheep. Oh no, they tumble down the hill. Jeep goes splash. Jeep goes thud. Jeep goes deep in gooey mud. Blub, 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 blub. Who is that on that Jeep? There's a little frog, huh? Sheep tug. They're gonna try to tug and get it out of the mud. Oh no, they couldn't do it. Sheep shrug. Oh well. Sheep yelp. Yelp! Help! Sheep get help. Who are they gonna get help from? These pigs. Jeep comes out. Look, they got were able to push it out of the mud. Sheep shout, yay, yay. Sheep cheer, hooray. Oh dear, the driver sheep forgets to steer. Oh no, watch out sheep. Oh no, crash. Jeep in a heap, oh no. 
Sheep weep. Oh, oh, they're so sad. Well, sheep sweep the heap. They're gonna sweep up all this trash, aren't they? They're gonna clean up their mess. They put up a sign that says Jeep for sale. Cheap, <laughs> which means that's not much money. The end. Oh, those poor sheep lost their Jeep. Maybe sheep shouldn't be driving though. Hmm, I wonder if they have their license. All right, so we're almost at the end of story time. So let's get ready to say our affirmation and we can get to our messy craft afterwards. Uh, do you remember why we say our affirmation? We say it so that we can try to be the best that we can be and so that we can have the best day ever. All right, you ready? Let's go. Whoa, all right, you ready? So remember, you're gonna repeat after me and you want everything to be loud and powerful, okay? Arms wide. I am great. Yes, fingers up to your forehead. I am smart. Yes, you are. All right, what about this? Show me how strong you are, yeah. I am strong. Good job. Give yourself a big hug. I am loved. Yes, you are. Now we're going to have a big jump. Today is an awesome day. Yes, good job. Oh, okay. So it's time for our craft. In your craft bag, you will find a Ziploc with some cornstarch, interesting, and some watered down food coloring in bottles. All right, so for this craft, you're also gonna need a half a cup of water to add to your bag. So make sure you have that before we get started. Don't worry, I'll wait. Oh, you got it? Okay, great, let's go. Okay, I've got my bag of cornstarch, my watered down food coloring, and a half a cup of water. You might need a little bit more or a little bit less, depending, but you can figure that out as you go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is open our bag. Ah, and we're gonna pour our water in. Don't spill it. Oh wait, no, it's okay, because we're being messy today. You can spill it. Okay, close your bag back up all the way tight. Make sure you get it all the way tight. All right, and then mix it up. All right, I think mine's pretty good. So this is what's called oobleck, which means that when you let it sit, it kind of feels like a liquid, but then when you try to scrunch it, it feels like a solid. It's so cool. All right, so now we're gonna add our colors. So I have yellow and green. What colors do you have? Oh, let's see what that makes in our bag, shall we? So we're gonna open it back up and we're going to pour our color in. I think I'm going to do the whole thing. Yeah, all the way gone with my yellow. Ooh, it looks kind of orange right now, doesn't it? And then my green, do the same thing. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to close the back up, the bag back up. Make sure you get it all the way tight and closed. We're going to mix it up again, okay? Whoa. Whoa, look at these colors. I like how the yellow and the green are mixing to make this like neon slime green. Let's see if we can get it all mixed up. Whoa, this is so fun. So what you can do is you can leave it in the bag and you can squish it and you can write on it, make patterns, or if your parents say so, you can take it out of the bag and play with it. I think I can play with this all day. Let's see what it's like outside the bag. Whoa, that's wild. 
Wow. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was so fun getting messy with you. Uh, just a few things before you go. Next week, the first Thursday in October, um, will be Baby and Me. So it is mainly for babies under 24 months, um, but anyone can enjoy it. It'll be a little different of a format. We won't have a craft and there'll be a lot more songs. Uh, so we hope that you join us for that. Um, also, craft packs for October, for the rest of the story times in October, will be available starting next week. All right. Well, I hope I see you next week. Bye.